Hey guys, it's Joette with ballooncoach.com and today for our lunch and learn, we are recording this on September 21st, 2021 and I am so excited to have Marlene Potts with us from Stuff Balloons from A to Z and what's fun with Marlene is um, we've been hanging out for several years getting to know each other through going to balloon trainings and um, her husband was one of my instructors early on and my mouse is not working. I love life. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and um, with Marlene, what I love is she always loves to give her information to people and help them be successful. So if you're not already hooked up with Marlene, she has her website, stuff balloons from a to z.com. And she has a Facebook group, stuff balloons from A to Z that helps answer a ton of questions. So if you're needing more information after this webinar, please make sure to hook up with her there. Um, and so at um, Balloon Boss Summit, we think of her as our queen of stuffed balloons. Yes, in 2020, we did have the first balloon hybrid training event where we were live in person in Orlando and we had people live online learning about stuff balloons from Marlene. And um, so you see her there in her mask because um, inside the hotel we had to have our mask on. And what I just loved is she was able to set up a display to let people know like here, this is what this will look like when you set up a booth and um, answered great questions and let people actually put their hands on the balloons. So Marlene, do you wanna tell us a little bit more about yourself before people start asking their questions in the chat about what they wanna know about stuff balloons? Um, sure, for those of you that, that don't know me, um, again, my name is Marlene Potts. I'm partners with my husband, Chris Potts in Balloon Masters. We're located in Buffalo, New York. We started with a balloon stuffing machine. We didn't do decorating. That's actually how we got started um, 30 years ago. I paid $2,500 for my machine. So I think it's funny uh, when people complain how much the machines are now and they're literally a third of the price. But Wait, you know, how much did you pay? $2,500. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. And I went to a franchise show and, um, and that's where we saw it. And um, I, it, it was you know really, really exciting. And I've done tens of thousands uh, of balloons and um, they say that I've done more stuffed balloons than anybody in the world. I teach internationally uh, stuffed balloons. So um, I like to share what I know and what I've learned through trial and error because there was nothing when I started. There was um, you no, know, like Qualitex had stuffing balloons but there were no classes, nobody helped you. Um, very few people in the whole world even stuffed balloons at that time. So, um, you know, I just like, my, my stuff is trial and trial and error from my experience. And um, I just hope it helps somebody out there. Uh, I, I didn't normally teach per se, uh, up until the pandemic, when I saw a lot of people jumping onto stuffed balloons, and they were, there was just so many basic questions and um, confusion on like what to do. So now I, I share my knowledge. That's awesome. Well, while people are um, being hesitant to type in their questions, I want to give them a minute to do that. Um, one of the questions I have for you is what do you think is the most important, the best stuffing machine out there on the market and why? Um, well, I'm kind of partial because I sell machines and I have been a rep for this particular machine, which is the super stuffer or the puff and stuff for 25 years. Um, I've been asked early on, <clears throat> I was sent many machines to try out people that wanted me to sponsor them or, or use their machine. And I really, um, there's a, a lot of great advantages to at least the super stuffer. Now we do uh, gift wrapping or balloon stuffing very professionally. So I love the way the machine looks. It's very professional. It's on a stand. So when I'm in a mall or a kiosk, um, I don't, I don't have to bring anything else for that. It's a very good working um, height. It's clear so I can see what I'm designing. Um, it's, it's lasted, I mean, we've had one machine for 25 years. So it's a great warranty. It's a family owned business. Um, the, the lid itself is one piece of plastic versus a lot of times people glue the lid on, the, the actual um, tube for stuffing. Uh, which I don't suggest. Uh, eventually that glue um, loses its seal and it dries up. Um, and 
I love the floral tube that it's just attached right to the machine. I just find it very convenient. Um, and I've had a lot of luck with it. I, you know, and, and again, I think every machine is a little personal. Um, I know somebody that my machine was like too tall for. So they got the stuff and puff where you can put it on like a lower table or a bin and work on it that way. So, um, but I am partial to that because I do sell the machine. I sell the balloon stands and um, I would never sell a machine without a balloon expander. Most machines don't come with that, but I recommend it so much that I won't sell my machine without it, so. Cool, so um, a question that's come up is what are the top three things you would offer at a fall or Halloween vendor show? Um, first thing I would offer is like a punching ball or balloons on a stick. Um, you saw that in the first picture that you posted. Uh, those are very big sellers. You wanna, when you're at a vendor show, even a, a craft show for the most part, people are not going to be there to buy your teddy bears inside balloons. It's really a marketing event. That's the way I think about it. So I'm looking for things that are under $10 that just get people hyped because they've never seen it before. So um, I love the idea you can see there, I've got sticks. Th those are balloons on sticks. I've, I've put little twirlies and um, if you're a twister, you can put twisted things in there. Um, and I sell those $8 a piece, two for $12. Um, I also like to do uh, single rows inside of a balloon. That's also another big seller. Um, again, no vase, nothing like that, just in the tube with a bow on it. Uh, it's the novelty of it, right? Um, anything with the, the bobo balloon, the, the smaller bobo balloon with a rose in it, with the lights on it, that's very big if you're doing something at night. Um, and I think it's, I think you could do, uh, at least with my machine, because I have the floral tube, I make a stuffed balloon with an 11 inch balloon instead of a 16 inch balloon with a little plushed animal in there. Like for fall, you might put a little scarecrow or a bat or something in there. Um, and those would sell too. Again, keeping it very inexpensive. Uh, you, it depends also when it is. So if it's, the week of Valentine's Day, or sorry, <laughs> the week of, let's say, Halloween, um, you will sell balloons filled with candy, right? And again, keep it very, very simple. A lot of times the kids are with them at the fall festival, so maybe they'll pick it up later. You want to keep it simple, something they can hide in the car, um, you know, things like that. And then when you get closer to fall, like Thanksgiving and stuff, it's all about live mum plants inside the balloons. Live mum plants. Yes, live mum plants. That's the number one seller for Thanksgiving. Okay, and so candy. I shouldn't take I, it. Candy, uh, fancy candy, not like. So if I put candy. that live mum plant in the balloon, how long can I do that in advance before like it dies? <laughs> like, because it only be in there like a day? Can it be in there like three days? Yeah. Uh, no, actually, you could wrap those about five days before your event, and then they'll last for about a week in the event. And it's how you prepare the soil, which is something that I will be going over. Um, at the summit with people exactly how to prepare the soil, uh, taking the plant out, preparing the soil. It's all about the water, right? How much water you can get into that plant because the balloon will last and the flower is gonna last as long as it has water. So gotcha. it's, it's, that's how it goes. Great. Well, somebody was just asking, will you be demonstrating at Balloon Boss Summit? I will be demonstrating for four days four days straight. I have a hands-on, um, in fact, uh, Joette and I have been talking about this. So the, the first day um, you'll be able to actually come and do designs with us. We're going to make stuffed balloons. We're going to talk about kiosk sales, um, which is stuffed balloons and some other things, how to display contracts, that kind of thing. We'll be probably doing one whole day on bobos, stuffing a bobo and trying it out because you got to heat seal it. Sometimes that can be tricky. And at the end, we'll probably be talking specifically taking what you've learned at Summit and making it specifically for balloon wrapping. So you can do a lot of webinars and you can do a lot of advertising, but there's specific things for if you're a balloon stuffer that will jumpstart your company and get it out there that, that don't have to do with balloon decorating. So it's really just balloon stuffing. So we have four days. Um, every day. And of course, I'll be there every day. You can sit with me every day at lunch and ask me any question you want. Um, but I'm pretty good at making money. So <laughs> come sit with me, come to the event. Um, and you'll be surprised how well your business will do. So 
Thanks. And so for those of you guys who don't know about Balloon Boss Summit it is an event that we put on every year in Orlando in November. Marlene is a part of that team. And it's made to be only 100 live attendees. Um, and then for those who are currently under travel bans and cannot travel or have things going on at home, you can actually purchase your ticket and be able to join us live online. It's not the same <laughs> with the balloon stuff. Yeah. As being there in person. So I encourage people to come to the live event so you can actually practice using the stuffed balloons and get your hands on it, watch things. And then we also have professional photography of everything we make at the event so that you can go back home with those product shots to use to market with. A great yes, and hers are better than mine. So <laughs> I, I do that too after my videos, but it's uh, yours are so much better. It's amazing. Um, a question was just brought up is can I stuff colored balloons? Is I'm sorry? Can I stuff? colored balloons um you can so um obviously if you see a stuffed balloon you know the neck of a stuffed balloon is totally different than a regular 18 inch or 16 inch balloon that you would buy from a company so you can um stuff those what i would suggest is not inflating them all the way in the machine it's just because the neck doesn't have that stretch available to it uh, and that can make them that make them pop. And it's very hard. Like if you do it with a balloon stretcher, it's not easy to open that that guy up and get it on the machine. But it absolutely can be done. I would honestly suggest 24 inch before I did like a 16 inch. Great tip that 24 inch balloon if you're yeah. using a colored balloon. Yeah, it's okay. it's hard to do. But what happens when you do a stuffed balloon? You have to shrink it down a little bit, right? So the stuff inside there doesn't break it. So if you start with a 16 inch balloon, you're going to end up with something that's around 13 inches. You should, I know a lot of people over, over inflate them and they pop, but it really should end up about 13. Inches. So at 20 inches or 24 inches, you'll end up with like a 20 inch balloon. And that's a nice looking balloon. If you're just going to put like balloons and candy or confetti in it. So how fun. So uh, Leah asked, will you be doing a class and this can either be online or at summit on um, using floral tubes for the super stuffer? Okay, so yes, I uh, absolutely will be teaching that at the summit for sure. We're going to do flowers for probably about two hours because there's um, so many different ways to do flowers between the tub, live or silk uh, or a plant and then the tube. Um, I do also have a video on my website. There's five videos available and you will see me demonstrate the tube um, on the Mother's Day one. It's called Your Machine is Blooming. So... So when we're on there, her website of stuffed balloons from A to Z, you can go right here and see her videos. Yep. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> All right. So another question is, is how uh, many a month do you estimate someone can do with the stuffed balloons? And I, one of the things that I wanted to say before she answers on that too, is I think with stuffed balloons, you've got to look at it in two ways. One is for the person who has a storefront that it can be something where people can come in and pick up on a regular basis and be a body product or the other part of stuff balloons is going out and planning to have the, that kiosk or that fair or that certain place that you have the stuff balloons at correct marlene like that's the two absolutely. different ways to primarily market it yes absolutely um so like in our store we probably do five a week right but we're doing hundreds on the holidays so um I'm a big advocate of marketing just like Joette is. So if you do um, any of your community uh, luncheons or um, like I try to sell them as centerpieces. So my sale isn't always just one. I'm trying to sell in bulk. I want to sell 20 at a time. Um, birthday parties, baby showers, that type of thing. Uh, that's what I'm marketing to. I'm not making... I make money when somebody comes into my shop and I get one, but not like when I'm doing volume. So if I can do 20 centerpieces and there's all the same live plant in there, I'm making more money than if somebody comes in and brings me, you know, five things to wrap inside of a balloon. I'm not making as much. So for, for me, um, and if you're a home-based business too, one, one good holiday will pay for your machine, but it is really focused. The big money is at the holiday time for sure. Yeah. Yes. And that's the thing that I always encourage people when you're looking at doing stuffed balloons is like me personally, I've been in the industry since 2003. I have never personally sold a stuffed balloon as a gift 
it's not a, I didn't have the stuffer. And back when I was in the industry and um, full-time with my balloons is that just wasn't a focus for me. But what I've seen happen is there's been this huge resurgence in people wanting to do the gift in the balloon. And that because of social distancing, people want to give a special gift that is unique and different than what you can get at the regular store. And so this is something that can set you apart, but you have to set up your plan of how you're going to let people know that you offer this service. And I love the idea of having bulk ones and being able to um, sell them as centerpieces um, because that's allowing you to do that higher volume that allows you to make more profit. So great question. Um, Jamie wants to know, is there a preferred brand of stuffing balloon? Is one better than the other? Um, I, don't, I don't know if one's better than the other. I am a Qualitex girl. I, I love Qualitex stuffing balloons. Um, I love the shape of them. It, in fact, in one of my free videos here on my website, um, I go through the difference between the Sempertex and stuff. Um, some of the brands are brand new. I've never even used them, but I like the clarity. I like the consistency of Qualitex. Um, and, and that's just my own personal preference. I know some people love Sempertex, uh, Talitex, right? It's the same brand. Um, and then now, now there's a couple of brand new ones out there. But I am a, a Qualitex girl. I, I love the neck is shorter and a little wider so that your stuff goes in the bulb of the balloon more versus making a longer neck. It's, a, it's the shape of the balloon itself I like better. So um, I do want to say one thing about um, just going back to the, the kiosk sales is you, you should look at your machine, if you're stuffing now, you should look at your machine as a tool to make products to sell. Oftentimes I teach people and they only think about people bringing them stuff. The most money you're gonna make is when you're also making the profit of what's inside the balloon, okay? So I look at my machine as um, like a gift store, but I'm making the gifts. Like anything I can think of to produce, especially in volume to make money is what's going to make me money. I'm not just waiting for people to bring me that one birthday gift, um, th that type of thing. There's a lot of birthdays out there, but you have to learn how to make money to do birthdays versus just the one wrapping, if that makes wow. sense. That's awesome. Um, and yeah, because it, volume sales is what life is all about, right? Yeah. Um, so Shannon wanted to share that, Marlene, we learned this from you the night before. That's um, what we sold at our festival the past weekend. They sold a ton of the punching ball. Um, punching ball. <laughs> so we wouldn't have made any money if it wouldn't have made them. So thank you so much. So uh, um, you're so welcome. So that makes me so happy. Like, you know, you get yourself out there and you don't know, you, people are taking your class, but you don't know if it's really helping, if they really go the next step, right? And I'm sure, Joette, you go through that too. You put on this unbelievable convention. Do you, do you go home and use that stuff and go on? And, and that's awesome to hear that, that, that it worked for you. So yeah. yeah. And so Shannon was with us at Summit last November. And so it's really great to see that she was able to put that to use for this um, recent fall festival. Way to go. Because yeah. it's all about taking action, guys. No matter what you do, when you learn these techniques from Arlene, if you don't go out and approach people and let them know what you have to sell them, then you're not going to make any money. It doesn't just happen yeah, uh, yeah. magically. You, you actually have to work for the sale. And um, so, so that's what I talk about on the, the last day of the, of the summit when I'm doing the stuffing, because if you've been to the summit before, it's a lot about marketing. And so we bring all that knowledge back in and show you specifically how to market for balloon stuffing. So you could still be a decorator, but there is a little art to doing the balloon stuffing uh, marketing, but we're going to use all that knowledge and really um, like just springboard right off the bat. Cause this is, this is the time. I always tell people fall might not be a huge moneymaker, but it's a springboard into the holidays, of course, which is Christmas, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, right? So you really, if you've especially just started, really start to market right now. And um, that was something we just talked about the other day in our Balloon Boss Mastermind webinar on our marketing and retail shop top. We talked about how you've got to plan your sales three to six months in advance. It's not like, oh, tomorrow's Halloween, what am I gonna sell? You have to think it out in advance of where you're gonna do it, what you're gonna do, what the price is, so that you can be proactive rather than reactive because when you're proactive is when you're able to sell more. So great yeah. tips. So Sarah would like to know, do you ever have problems with the clear balloons becoming cloudy? 
Um, I don't. And again, in, in that free part of either on my YouTube channel or on my website, I have a whole thing of free videos and it shows you what to do for clouding. Um, there are three products that I recommend um, for, so I guess I should back up. So what's happening is your balloon is oxidizing. And once you inflate it, it immediately starts oxidizing once you take it out of that plastic bag because it's rubber and that's the natural process, the breakdown process of latex. So what we do is we coat the outside or clean it um, and that takes some powder off and it stops the oxidation with a, a, like a little film of product. So when I talk about powder, when, when they make a stuffed balloon or any balloon, um, they go in big tumblers after they come off the form and they're warm and they go in these big tumblers and they put a powder in there so they don't stick together. So when you get a bag and it's all powdery, that's what that's for. So when you put the, once it's inflated, you can use um, balloon shine, excellent product. I suggest not spraying it on the balloon, but spraying it on a cloth and rubbing it on the balloon. There is high shine by high float. Um, uh, another excellent product, you spray that directly on the balloon and wait a little bit. Um, it does leave a nice luster to the balloon, uh, not perfect for touching. Like it depends what you're gonna do with that, but that, that's a really good balloon. And if your balloon is cloudy right now, you can spray high shine on it and it will clear up actually in a couple hours. My preferred choice is just STP Armor All, which is a car cleaner for rubber. I use the protectant. Okay, so it's very important, use the protectant. It comes in a spray or wipes and I wipe it down and then I wipe it with another cloth. And once that nice layer is on there, they won't clot up anymore. Um, I also, if I'm doing, let's say 10 in a day, I will stuff all my balloons. And then at the end of the day, I put them in a bag. I, once you put them in a plastic bag, a clear plastic bag, um, it instantly stops that oxidation and then you're good, so. Great. Thank you for those tips. And again, um, on her website, stuff balloons from a to z.com is where you'll find a lot of the um, free information plus the other um, classes that you can purchase. And then also her Facebook group of stuff balloons from a to z. Um, a question that came up was um, how can we find out more about Balloon Boss Summit? And so that's at ballooncoach.com and click on Summit. Um, and then if you're in my mastermind program currently, send me a private message and I will send you the um, coupon code for a discount. Um, and if you're not in mastermind yet, you can join mastermind and then get the discount. Um, so, um, but yeah, ballooncoach.com is where you can find um, the information for Balloon Boss Summit that Marlene will be teaching yeah. at November I, um, 7th through 12th. I, I just want to say one thing about that. And, and most people don't realize this is that I'm, I'm actually a member of her group because it's so good. I've been in business 30 years and I still learn things every month from her balloon mastermind groups. So if you've been in business for a while or a couple of years and you think, oh, I, you know, I, I know this, I know that you would be surprised at what just having um, that support group, like being able to call her or another member and, and talk things out or, or come up with things um, or just go back into all the replays of all the information she's listed over the years is, is just unbelievable. So just want, most people don't realize that I'm actually you know, a member. Actually, yeah, I'm actually a member. Like I, I use that program. So yeah. And that's the exciting part for me is to see how many of our instructors from Balloon Boss Summit and the attendees and alumni are a part of our program. So that is that collective conversation that goes on, which is wonderful. But so yeah, for those of you who are asking ballooncoach.com, if you go on here and you're like, I just really want to ask Joette a question, you can also schedule a free 10 minute with me. Um, but at the summit, you have all the information here. You've got the registration, who's teaching, and then view the schedule. All the information's here. The hotel is a Disney Springs holiday in Orlando. So you can go um, walk to Disney Springs, um, have a reservation for dinner one of the nights before you come back for extra learning that evening with Marlene. Um, you can hang out poolside and chat with people, which is wonderful. And you reserve your hotel room here after you get your ticket for Summit. So I love that Marlene and Chris are a part of our dynamic team for the event because they have this huge passion to help you guys succeed. And it's those conversations that happen during lunch and during the hands-on time that can really help you grab all of that 30 years of knowledge from stuffing and put it right to work. 
Um, so someone's saying, I'm so looking forward to attending summit and meeting Marlene in person. Yay. Um, love it. Uh, and Shannon is saying it's amazing. It's like meeting rock stars. They're famous uh, because I've watched them for so long on the internet. And so meeting them was so amazing last year. Thank you, Shannon. It was so awesome to see you at the event. Yeah. Thank um, you. So let's see. Um, we've gotten a question about um, plushes. Um, let's see. I saw a question about three foot balloons. And yes, you can wrap a three foot balloon on your machine. No problem. Cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. um, so when you have a storefront, do you require a certain time frame to place an order or do you let people just walk in with orders? Okay. Um, so one thing I want to say, uh, um, backing up to what you said about retail stores and planning it out. Um, I, so we used to have six retail stores uh, for balloons and like Hallmark you know, type things. And I actually placed, believe it or not, my Christmas order in January. So Christmas would end. The biggest show in New York City is in January, and that's where you place your Christmas order for the following year. So just so you talk about pre-planning, just like you say, oh my God, in July, they have Christmas stuff out. Yeah, because they start shipping it. They start shipping it because they don't have room to store it and they want it on the shelf. So you order more stuff, right? So that's one thing with planning. So um, no, when somebody comes in my store, they can come in and it I tell them it takes an hour. They have to come back. So that's it. I would never turn down a sale. Never. So <laughs> you, yeah, never turn down money. Yeah, so I usually, um, if you go to like the balloon masters website, it'll ask them to bring it stuff in 24 hours in advance, but we get calls like, I mean, we do balloon deliveries. So, um, stuff balloons is one of the things that we push because it's unique, right? Um, we want to be different. Everybody else is making marquees, but I make stuff balloons. So it sets me apart a little bit. Um, so we always have like lottery tickets and, uh, you know, we do cash balloons or, or gift cards. We have teddy bears. Um, I always talk about if you have stuffed animals, um, I, I like to buy plain stuffed animals. I don't buy too many that say like happy mother's day or something. I might, if I can cut that item off, but I use those little t-shirts from like Michael's for the, um, like, uh, the dolls, American girl dolls, you know, or they have. They have like teddy bear clothes in there. Um, and then we make our own little t-shirts. It might say happy Valentine's day or happy Halloween. So for Halloween, for me, you might get a white teddy bear with a little t-shirt that says happy Halloween from Nana and like a little witch's hat on it. Or I put a bow on it um, that's got Halloween flavor, but I really keep my plush um, you know, pretty basic. But yes, I never turn down money. So I got strayed there, a little bit. <laughs> but I never turn on money. They can come in. Um, if I am doing, if I'm taking orders at another company. So like right now you should really be working with the toy companies and the candy, um, nice candy, like good candy. And so that's what they're asking is where's the best um, place to buy plush in bulk and then also candy. Okay. So, um, I know that plush in the plush in a rush is very good. Uh, I, I like, um, I buy from a, see, we're a little bigger. So I buy directly from Dakin or Ty um, or Russ Berry, but um, uh, Burton and Burton has, does Brody's carry plush? Um, not positive. I'll have to check yeah, it out. I, I don't know. Cause Brody's, Brody's one of our sponsors cheaper. for Summit. So I'll ask them. Yeah, they might have. And they're actually, that's a very, they're a very good um, supplier. If you guys are looking for a wholesaler to buy your balloons and clips and stuff that Brody's is a really good manufacturer. They are not manufacturer, but wholesaler and they ship really fast. But, um, uh, but plush in a rush is good. Um, oh my God. I got to think off the top of my hair. Uh, Burton and Burton. I use a lot. Um, I just listed a whole bunch. It's, it's Kelly's right. um, Wholesale, it's called. And she sells a little of everything, like blankets and everything. But she has actually really good deals on plush and uh, Myler balloons, believe it or not. I, 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 every time, every once in a while, she gets these crazy specials and they're, they're so good. But that's Kelly's um, Wholesale.com. And um, Lucky Plush, I buy a lot from, but they only offer four kinds of bears. And I happen to really like their plushed animals. So like I said, I, I really kind of keep it, um, you know, I really kind of bring it in. I don't carry a huge assortment of, of animals per se, um, just because I know it's going to sell, right? Teddy bear is number one. Teddy bear, cat, dog. 
Fun. So um, another tip that came in from one of the people um, listening is Jen is that often um, she will wait until like after the holidays and then get your um, plush discount like at Walgreens or, you know, um, CVS and those kinds of stuff. So I do know a lot of stuffers that I will see their shopping carts full after the holiday sales of so going in. <laughs> that's a that's a very good point and it's absolutely right and also you like and a lot of people don't realize this about retail but also ask the management if they have any in the back because at walmart they have so much going on during the holidays that and they can send all their stock back it's part of doing business with walmart you have to take their returns so they may not have even put that case of plushed animals on the shelf and they can return it so they're not you know the stockers there you know, they don't really care if they sell them or not. So always ask if they have more in the back. Um, you'd be surprised. They also, when you're buying that much volume, will tend to give you an, an extra discount. So always ask the management for that. And if you're buying um, in more volume, let's say you do do kiosks, or again, you're going to keep it, you're going to keep to teddy bears, cats, and dogs. You can set up an account with somebody like Russ Berry or Ty and Believe it or not, about two weeks before Christmas or two weeks before uh, Valentine's Day or Mother's Day, they're not really shipping that stuff anymore because stores have everything. Well, all their plush goes on sale 50 less 50. So, but you have to buy by the case. So you might have to buy 24 of the same teddy bear, but you get really, really good discounts. And I mean, a teddy bear doesn't go out of style. So you know, if you don't, don't buy the snakes, don't buy the, you know, the elves <laughs> or whatever, but buy those, those basic things, um, you'll get some really good discounts. Yeah. And I love that idea of taking that basic bear and then adding the ribbon or a band yeah. or something to make it special for the holiday. Yeah. I love that. They, so, um, also on my website, I posted um, a lot of the, the big markets. So usually you go to a gift show um, and they're called gift markets. And they, there's about four or five of them around the, the country. And right now they're doing a lot of it virtually. They never offered that before. So if you can't get there or you're wondering what it's about or you're looking for vendors um, on my Facebook group, um, you'll see I, I always list when they come up and you can actually sign up and then go in there virtually and you can look for plushed animals and look for things that are up and coming. And, um, you know, even even um, uh, big like uh, wrapping, like wrapping paper and ribbon, they all have their own market as well. So you can go in there and get deals. They have show specials. Um, it's really exciting. It's actually one of the best parts of doing retail is being able to go to shows <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. So if you're not a member yet on next time you're on Facebook, go to stuff balloons from A to Z and request to join that group. So you can be a part of all those um, great announcements and information. So Brandy would like to know when making your stuffing balloons in advance, do you make the balloon toppers um, immediately or do you usually wait until the day of delivery? She usually is having the most problems with her 260s or smaller balloons deflating a lot within 24 hours. Um, okay, so a 260 definitely only lasts a couple days. So, um, so I get this is one of the things that I'll, I'll, I'll teach at the summit is when you're doing volume, there are certain things that you can do in advance and other things that you have to do last minute. So for me, I would never put 260s on a volume type um, item because I know they don't last. I know I can't do them in advance. So part of that is planning your design and making it, you know, like there's nothing wrong with putting a bow um, with tule or roses or something on it versus 260s, right? Or making your topper organic with a foil on it, you know, versus a 260. So maybe that's the better way to go. Um, your five inch should not be deflating. So you're either not tying them uh, maybe tight enough um, I, or maybe the brand you're using. I, I don't know those, I mean, because we do, I, I do my stuff balloons like two weeks out from a holiday. And so I've already done all my prep work with the five inch. So those might have been done two and a half or three weeks before my holiday. And I'm not having a problem. Not to say that a, a few don't deflate, of course, they're balloons, but yeah, no, no major problems there. So it might be that you're just not tying them and maybe pulling it tight enough. 
So we got a comment from Brandy that Summit should go on tour to Canada. And I hear this all the time, like this I summer. Canada. I, mm-hmm. I did a summer three-day teaching, um, three different teaching stops this summer. And then in 2019, I did, um, I think it was nine on the road. And I think what people don't understand is when you're putting on an event like Summit and you have 18 instructors and mentors, you kind of get into a groove um, and find a hotel that will work with you and do everything that you need to do. So, um, but uh, Marlene does do... Um, training in Canada. And um, so you can check that out for the future on her website. And then also you can always come to Summit virtually if you're not able to come across the border and come hang out with us. So I just wanted to throw that out there. And a lot of my members of our Balloon Boss Mastermind program are from different countries. So um, a question had come up in another area and I think you covered it earlier, but I just want to clarify with working with like an 18 inch black balloon for Halloween. Mm -hmm. um, The the major tip is just to be careful because the neck is not going to stretch the same as as a stuffing balloon, correct? Right. So I would not inflate that all the way in your machine that's not going to inflate like a well you can tell because a um an 18 or if you took a stuffing balloon next to an, just a regular 18 inch black balloon the whole the whole uh look of it is different right the whole style of it is different a stuffing balloon has a wider neck and is bulbous at the end a, a regular 18 inch balloon has a narrow neck and it's narrower so you don't want to inflate it all the way um for sure and again, it's going to take you a little bit to, to get that on that machine, but it can be done. Excellent. So um, if you have the tubes, though, I don't know what you're, I'm assuming you're stuffing it with candy or that type of thing. So you, if you have the floral tubes, I'd, I'd probably suggest that first using the floral tubes, either on the super stuffer, or if you have the Jiffy tubes or whatever you're using, I, I might suggest that. Or uh, it would be crazy, but that's that crazy little um, stuff balloon toy the toy from walmart yes so i bought one I, in fact we did it together remember joe you yep. came to the shop right <laughs> summer. So, um it's got the littlest bulb on it but it's really the opening um because it would stretch really easily over that opening and then you could stuff it so it, it creates a vacuum seal but it's literally only like this big but you could really jam it in there right take it off the machine and then just put more air in it <laughs> so for the little $30 investment is that that might be something I, I did I have a whole there's like all kinds of products you can make on that That's thing funny. you have to think out of the box but yeah mm-hmm. so LaDonna is asking and when she was searching for a stuffing machine they were all out of stock are there any suggestions on where she could go to purchase them um okay so I always tell people well first of all it's a little hit and miss right now of course we're all running into that problem because of shipping and you know a million other pro- problems Um, so if you go on every manufacturer, um, if you go on their websites, they have a list of all their, their wholesalers and the websites and the phone numbers and the emails. So I would suggest just going through there, depending on where you live, um, you know, go to Qualitex, go to Sempertex, go to, um, Patalitex, go to Jamar, go, you know, uh, Caltex is a new one. And that's and for getting the balloons, but for getting the actual stuffing machine, do you have any? Oh, the machine. Currently? I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Repeat the question. I totally lost to, that one. To purchase the stuffing machine, do you currently have any in stock? I do. Yeah. So mm-hmm. if you go to stuff balloons from A to Z.com and click on balloon stuffing equipment, there you've got the list right there to be able to purchase, correct? Yes. Mm-hmm. Takes Excellent. about two weeks to get it. So just so people know. All right. And so Sarah's saying that she was at Summit in 2019 and sat with Marlene at lunch. She wasn't an instructor at that event, but was because that was the year that she came in um, helping out. And she was so full of information and enthusiasm. She talked with Tabitha and she sold stuff balloons right away while they were at Summit. So, yeah, that was one of the really cool things is Marlene just having those conversations with people at lunch, got people to take action. And Tabitha actually set up her website and was selling um, stuff balloons from Summit for Christmas. Yeah. It was pretty cool. And she sold 50 while we were at Summit in three days. <laughs> yeah. So that's part of our program is about taking action. It's not about just learning something and going home and hanging out. It's about actually taking that next initiative. So Sarah, thanks for sharing that testimony. Um, so um, Tammy is saying she thinks she may have missed the part about machines. Is there a difference between the tabletop and the super stuffer? Uh, yeah. So a tabletop obviously doesn't, it sits on a table. 
Um, is that the puffin stuff? Yeah, the, the stuff, uh, I'm sorry. Yes, the puffin stuff. What did I say? The super, sorry. So the puffin stuff um, sits on the table. Um, it also doesn't have its own inflator. So you have to have an inflator to use that. You're going to you know, buy an a inflator, I guess, from Amazon or Conway or Brody's um, that it attaches to. And then the air flows in and you push that. Um, and this is very good if you're in an apartment type situation because you can fold the two, um, the, the cylinder itself comes off and you can, you can store it. So it's just one part of the cylinder. Um, so it's convenient if you don't have a lot of space. It, the super stuffer is um, the one that she's showing now. Of course, it has the stand. It comes with the floral tube. It has wheels on it. It comes with the inflator already built in. Um, it's virtually almost put together when you get it. And um, it's, I just find it more professional when I go out somewhere. So for me, when I do the super stuffer and I'm out at a mall, I find it messy. Those ones that don't have its own chamber, um, just, it just, it's not at the right level and it tips over and just certain things. I, I'm just not crazy about them. And I have them. So don't, so don't get me wrong. I've used them and I have them and I sell them, but my prefer is the super stuffer. And it just depends how, I guess, serious you are. Like for me, I went all the way. I went to the super stuffer. I knew I was going to make it. I knew it. Like I just, I was on fire 30 years ago. <laughs> so I knew it. So. Um, I got in a question about if Brody's needs an EIN for purchasing. I know many of the distributors um, sell um, retail and wholesale. So just go yeah. to those um, websites for the different distributors to check that out. Um, so Miss Gina is saying that she has seen stuffed balloons with foils floating on water, like a lily pad and swans. How difficult is it to do something like that? Um, well, generally what I think you're seeing is bobos. That's what I've seen around. Like you can do a stuffed balloon um, with water in it. Um, so Bobo's, if you've ever worked with them or crystal clears or whatever, they're, um, pretty fragile and those can be tough to travel with. So if you're doing 15 centerpieces, I would make 20 <laughs> and then make sure you put some plastic down or put them in plastic bags. Uh, cause they can be, they can be pretty tough. They're, they're not, it's not an easy project to do to me. I don't think it's worth the money. Yes. Because literally for a, a Bobo centerpiece with flowers in it, I would charge probably no less than $75. And there's not a lot of people that are buying $75 centerpieces. And so I'm just going to throw this out there. I always say work smarter, not harder. And yes, it looks cool and fun that there's water and a flower and all that kind of stuff. But the hassle and what when the balloon pops, what if there's a pinhole? You've yeah. got this extreme mess. So I always encourage people to really think those things out of, yes, you may have the technology to do something like that, but mm -hmm. is it worth your time? What, could you be doing something else that's a higher profit and is quicker to put together? So just- if you have yeah, if you have the clientele that'll that'll chart that will pay a lot, then I say more power to you. But really, do, this is not something you sell for twenty dollars. No, 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 no. Like minimum seventy five. So Tammy asked, "Are there any specific products you would say we always should have in stock when working with stuffed balloons?" Um, do you mean like products like what? How to make a balloon, or products that you're going to put inside the balloon? So Tammy, let us know, are you thinking about for decorating them or for putting inside of them? Yeah, definite, definite difference there. Do you answer? All right. And Tammy is saying that she's glad to hear that Summit will be virtual. Yeah. So last year in the midst of social distancing, for the first time, we were the first um, hybrid um, balloon training events so people could come that were comfortable coming to Florida and then the other people who were unable to travel they just with the ticket is the exact same price so I'll just be real upfront with that is because in the um, dashboard with virtual you can be on live with us and then you also have the recording and anybody who attends the event live gets to watch that replay later too if you like oh man I zoned out during that class or overslept you'll be able to go back and watch it and then the other thing that happens is the professional photography that's taken from that event 
from Sunday through Friday, six days of professional photography that's purposely staged to get you product shots and things to sell with is worth more than the price of the summit. So um, that's why our ticket price is where it's at and it stays that way for the people who are virtual because the people who are coming in person are having to go through the extra cost of hotel and travel and all that stuff. So it wouldn't be fair to them for everybody else to get to do virtual for a less price. So just throwing that out there because I've been getting those questions too. Um, so somebody said they came in late and so looking forward to the replay. That's the thing. Um, so I, I can't answer that question. I'll just answer it in two parts. Sure. The, the one. So if you are thinking, what do you have to have in stock to do a stuffed balloon? Like what type you should always have. To me, I use safe tight discs for closure. Um, I do not tie my, my balloons or anything like that. I use a little disc. It's called a safe tight disc, T-I-T-E. Um, obviously stuffed balloons. I would have tissue shred. I would have five inch balloons in stock. I would have um, 260s, probably 350s. Um, what else would I suggest? I would suggest pull bows. Always have a pull bow because that's the easiest way to do it. Curling ribbon for decorating. Uh, easy start shipping tape purchased right at Walmart, 12 pound fishing line, 12 to 15 pound fishing line. Uh, I use Omni. It's also sold at Walmart. And I have a whole video on shopping at Walmart for everything you need. <laughs> and, um, and I would say, of course, the STP for cleaning and clear uh, plastic bags, 40 gallon and 60 gallon for uh, for. Uh, taking home, you know, for your customer to take them home and business cards. Never forget your business card on anything. If awesome you list. are talking about what to put inside the balloons, I would always have silk roses. I would always have a teddy bear. Um, I would always have some sort of gift card, like for coffee or whatever. Uh, lottery tickets are always huge sellers. Um, and really that's about it for, for products inside. I don't, I don't go too crazy with that. Cool. So we've had a couple of questions come up. One was, how do we sign up for Summit and what's the price? So it is at this point, we're at the full price of $1,997. I can honestly say that I know the value is over $5,000 because I have friends that are in the floral industry along with balloons and they pay over $5,000 for the kind of training that we put on for Summit. Um, and then if you are a part of our Balloon Boss Mastermind program, I do have a discount coupon because you're... Um, paying $97 a month to be a part of ongoing training, I give a discount for that. So if you want to join Mastermind for $97 and then send me a private message, I can get you that discount code for 300 bucks off. Um, so um, that is the program. And again, you go to ballooncoach.com and click on Summit and you can view the schedule to see all of the amazing things that are going on throughout the week. And they were asking if you're bringing a stuffer with you to Summit. Yep. <laughs> I can't do hands on without a stuffer. <laughs> so yes. So, and we might even, and, and Joette, you don't even know this, but um, uh, so my, my husband, Chris also teaches, um, is sponsored by High Float at the event. And he does tons of framework. He's like, analytically, it's amazing how his brain works. <laughs> so, um, but he also knows balloon stuffing. So if you can't get a hold of me, you can always talk to Chris, but over and above that, We've actually been working on and may show at Summit a three foot stuffing tub. Woo woo! Yeah, Yay. so that's I'm one of our big big announcements for that. So we're working on that right now. So we might um, we might prototype that and show that right at Summit. So cool. And Ariel is saying she can't wait for Summit. And yes, I would love the three foot stuffer because one of the things that I talked about in our Balloon Boss Mastermind program is how you can use um, stuffed balloons to just be balloons to be able to have that special effect at um, New Year's Eve and for parties to be able to just pop the balloons and have the balloons explode out and be fun. So um, this is um, a quick overview of who our teachers are at Balloon Boss Summit. We've got Dante being sponsored by Qualitex. Um, he has a storefront in New Jersey and he's gonna be talking about customer service. Megan from um, uh, Chicago is gonna be sponsored by Vitalik and she's been known for all the amazing yard art things that have been going on over the last two years. Marla is coming, being sponsored by Tough Tech. She's Balloonzilla in California. Jeff Kelly is coming from Asset Lab to talk to you about tech and websites and 
SEO and super excited to have him up as a new member to our team this year. Belinda Barrier from Jacksonville is going to be sponsored by Jamar this year. Sarah Meyer is being sponsored by 17 Hats. 17 Hats is a customer management system. So we're talking about the business side of things. Chris, as Marlene said, with High Float, Marlene with stuffed balloons from A to Z. Tabitha Miller is being sponsored by Dave Talks Business. And she's the one that took action on everything that Marlene taught her over the last two years at Summit. She's taken action on, and that's why she's on our stage is to be able to share how you can just move forward and go for it. Um, Charlie and Tammy are coming to be mentors this year. They do over $200,000 a year, went from home base to having their own warehouse space. Liz Romani is coming back as a mentor this year. Jonathan Fudge, he's been coming to our program for years and is great at how to put together the um, templates for your staff to follow, like how they can put the balloon together and how they can make decor while you're not even there. And then um, Stuart Davies is working on getting his ticket to come from overseas. They're looking at opening up the time for him to come. If not, he'll be with us uh, for some virtual conversation. Gary Ledbetter will be coming back and Melissa Vinson to help stage all of the awesome, beautiful photos at the event. So guys, we have been on for almost an hour. And Marlene, I want to be respectful of your time because I know you have a super busy business um, to run and take care of things. So if there's somebody that has one last question that we can wrap up for you, um, we would be glad to do that. And so Sarah was asking if you're going to have the stuffers for sale at the event. Um, we will have the stuffers for sale, and we are also going to offer a pre-sale discount that um, Joe and I, Joette and I, have are going to or have been working on and talking about. So you can actually have your machine come to the event, learn everything, and then go home and like get right on it. So you know if you're if you're interested in that. So a question that came up is, um, what about adding a mini fan to make it look like a snow globe for Christmas? Well, the Hardest part, you'd have to run the cord up the top. Um, I also think those little balls would probably get caught in the fan. Um, you know, like you'd have to run the cord up. I, I again, it's something that a is, battery you know, operated. If you if you want to make one, I think it's really cool. It, it, to sell them would be a nightmare. Like you'd have to get that fan to stand upright. Move you know, in there and not get the balls caught. And how are you gonna put a teddy bear in there if there's a fan <laughs> sitting in there? And so I think you'd really have to work it through. To me, again, my concept, even when you take my classes and, and you see my videos, <laughs> my designs are not like super over the top because I'm about volume <clears throat> and being able to get things done and do it quickly. So although I could make unbelievable stuffed balloons um i just don't sell them because they just would be so expensive to make so uh, you know do one to try it you know like work it through but i see a lot of um a lot of uh, problems with that but you never know i mean somebody could, somebody else could figure it out it's just not something it's not in my wheelhouse because it would take too much time so i'm looking to make fast money so if i did a, a snow globe i would charge no less than a hundred dollars for that how many of those are am i going to sell versus ones that are fifty dollars so, you know, and then, you can't enjoy that. yeah, and always work smarter, not harder. I think one of the downfalls of the balloon industry is sometimes instead of thinking like a balloon boss and thinking about money and um, efficiency and getting things out the door, we think from our creative hearts and we want to spend hours making something that's just phenomenal over the top. And we kind of have that hobby mindset yeah. rather than the business mindset. So I really encourage you as you make these stuffed balloons is to come up with the systems that can allow you to be very efficient with it. Unless you are um, charging a super high premium price for that artistic touch make it easy on yourself. And again, make it something that's going to be successful for your client. Ariel, um, who is coming to Summit, she just got her ticket this week. Um, she was talking about how she would like to see some of the different base ideas for the stuffed balloons. And so you can kind of see some of those in this picture here, and you'll definitely see that at Summit, but also going to um, Marlene's Facebook group, Stuff Balloons from A to Z, and also going to her website, Stuff Balloons from A to Z.com, you can see um, some of her free and paid videos that would get, be able to answer a lot of that for you. And and my YouTube channel, which is new. I think there's only like 130 people on there, but that I've been posting more stuff on there because it's so easy. <laughs> um, and uh, same thing, there's just marketing tips and stuff on there, not, not just stuff balloons, but 
Yeah. Awesome. Well, Marlene, I really appreciate your time today. And I want to make sure that I go ahead and let you off the hook if you're needing to leave. Um, but at the same token, we do have a lot of people on live with us today. And so one of the things that I always do for people when they're on my live webinars, whether you're in my mastermind program or a free one like today, is that I'd like to give you some extra value information. And then after our recording will be turned off not yet, but in a little bit when that's turned off, anybody who's still live with us, if you have any other questions that we didn't answer today, or there's something that you are currently in the middle of doing and need extra help with, you can ask those questions and kind of experience what I do with my group coaching program. So a reminder that if you have other questions and you want to um, hang out with Marlene, go to her website, go to her Facebook, follow her on Instagram, right? YouTube. If you're wanting, and YouTube, sorry. <laughs> I apologize. This misspoke. So can't do it all. On <laughs> yeah, you can't do it all. Um, you're welcome for the information. Um, and so if you have other questions to join us at Summit, or if you'd like to be a part of our ongoing training with Balloon Boss Mastermind that Marlene said that she is a part of with many of my other instructors and alumni for my programs, go to ballooncoach.com, click on Mastermind. But I have a quick question for you guys. Does anybody have a problem that, oops, sorry, that went to the wrong place. <laughs> Wow. All right. Here we go. So these are just a couple of pictures for me from Summit of sitting in the room, actually absorbing the decor and having a great time. Um, but does anybody ever have a problem where you're going in to do something and you get stuck with knowing what to price or getting somebody to buy from you? Anybody ever had that experience? And it's like my slide has actually disappeared. So frustrating. So have you ever put out a quote and not gotten a response? Or somebody says, oh, I want this beautiful stuffing balloon. And after you give them the price, they don't buy. Anybody had that problem? One person saying always. All right. So I want to let you guys know if you're in Mastermind, go into your dashboard and go to quote to cash. If you're not in Mastermind yet, when you're on ballooncoach.com homepage today, click on join the quote to cash five day challenge. And what I do is you give me your email address and for the next five days, you will get an email every day with a very short video and a PDF to download to look at your current sales process. And so when somebody says, I want a gift in a balloon and you give them the quote, are you following up with them properly? Are you listening to their cues? Are you responding to their price objections and knowing what to say to be able to make that sale? And if you're having issues with that, if you're already in mastermind, do the program through your dashboard so you get your certificate afterwards. But if you're not in mastermind yet and you're still kicking the tires, then join this five-day challenge and get that information to look at your current systems to help you increase your confidence and possibly tweak a little something that you need to be able to make more money. All right. So I had a lot of people saying that they had problems and they need to tweak their system. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys know that that information is there for you. Um, so Marlene, thank you so much for being with us today and for um, answering all of our questions on stuff balloons. And I'm trying to get back to our slide to remind you guys to go to stuff balloons from a to z.com to um, check out that stuff or if you're wanting to purchase one, if you want to see her free and her paid training or join her Facebook group, Stuff Balloons from A to Z so we can help you take that next step in growing your thriving balloon business. Um, and then also you can always join up in my Balloon Coach um, Facebook groups, Balloon Coach Community our balloon business startup if you're not in one of our paid programs yet. Marlene, I can't wait to see you in Orlando at Summit. It's always a pleasure. Always great to see the excitement of all the people around you that are taking notes and then taking action on what they learn. Thank you for being the queen of stuff balloons and helping us navigate this really fun way to be able to make some extra money. Thank you so much. And thanks everybody for uh you know, taking the hour to see me because I always wonder if anybody's going to ever show up. <laughs> so <laughs> I, uh, I really appreciate your time and I hope you learned something and I, and I hope that we get to meet in person soon. Yay. All right, guys. And again, if you ever need any help, you can always email joette at ballooncoach.com and let me know other topics that you might want to learn about. Thanks for everybody for watching. And for those of you on um, right now live, I will answer some other questions as we stop the recording. Do you Thank want you.
take action and thrive. <laughs> All right. Are you sure you want?